this match as well. May as well. Get those uploads going. Here we are. Losers round four. Cacao versus Maple. The winner of this match or this set will be moving on to t uh, top eight of this tournament. We got a Zelda versus a uh, Young Link. However, the Zelda player's profile picture is actually a um, Palutena, so I don't know if this is actually going to be the main. We have, but first we gotta deal with a dead arena. Hopefully I don't miss game one again. Or even worse, maybe I was just kicked from spectating. Quickly get into the spectator stand so I don't miss out. Uh, so I actually fight the winner of this set. Which means that Link Keck versus Jacob King is probably also going to happen on stream as well. So Maple is actually an aggressive young Link, which is a little rare. And Koka is actually a, um, a defensive Zelda. You see about half and half of each. I thought for sure he was gonna go for a uh, for a a feed there. So Young Link's main weakness when I tried playing him was that he had difficulty killing. His nair will kill probably like 140 something like that. Down air will kill something at like 180. On the bright side, though, a lot of his um, projectiles have really, really low knockback growth, which means that hitting them at um, a high percent does about the same as hitting them at a low percent. Maple is continuing the aggression. Koka probably should have, uh, or should, probably should be more eager to edge guard here. Because it's kind of getting back to ledge for free. And imagine a down smash not killing at 120 while they're at ledge already. Lightning Carry thing would have shield broken at that point. Forward smash attempt, yep. So if that, um, oh he's dead. No, oh, he's not dead. Wow, he uh, has a lot of vertical recovery on that up B. actually kind of risky. But I guess he knows his, the distance of his uh, air dodge. The uh, footstool was probably unintentional. Zelda breaks out of that with a patented uh, Nairi's love. Suddenly, uh, Coke is actually in the lead here. I wouldn't say in the lead, but they had the advantage in that situation and probably could have forced their KO at that point. Oh, 
Um, yep. That's it. Uh, so even though Maple started off the match super strong, right now we're completely even. Oh, gotta be careful. Sword too short. Throw it. That might have killed. Is that gonna kill? Yep. This is him straight up. So something probably I would change about Zelda's um, play style. Probably a little too defensive and also doesn't really go for the edge guards. Like if anything, I would um, go slightly off stage and then put the um, armor kind of facing towards the stage because it kind of will block Toon Link from going horizontally to catch the ledge. And then you force them to go either low or high. If they go high, then you just throw them back off the stage. And if they go low, you go for a down air. It's kind of difficult to do though, and it takes kind of a lot of setup. You only really get to do it if your opponent's really far off the ledge. But I've seen it done, and it looks pretty cool when it works, and it's pretty effective as well. They went from Final Destination living room to uh, Battlefield living room. Earlier in the Discord, they were joking about like having all of their matches on living room and asking to, for a living room to be a legal stage. So that's probably where all this is coming from. I think that the battlefield will kind of help with uh, Zelda's camping here. You can roll through that after the 11th hit. The beginning of this match is starting off a lot more even. Oh, that's super death. Lightning kicks. That's actually the first lightning kick that uh, Kakao's gotten this uh, whole match. I'm gonna have to like ask how uh, his name is pronounced because like the proper like the nut is the cacao, and then in America you could call it cocoa. Like if it's a hot cocoa, and uh, you can also call it coca, as in like Coca-Cola, even though it's not spelled quite the same way. So I'm just going to keep on alternating between the three and hope that one of them is correct. Poor Link, can't get a uh, kill grab. Yep. Like if anything, you should be standing at the ledge, throwing the armor, um, towards the inside of the stage. Oh, got rid of his tether.
Wow, that dash attack killed. Only barely. Nice parry. 11% punish on it. That's decent, I guess. Dash attack is... Okay, but... I prefer to get some grabs. I don't think that... Uh, Coca has actually gotten a single throw in. I'm not sure if the double spot dodge was intentional. Probably not. Seems like a kind of a weird option, especially since uh, mostly he's been getting hit by rapid jabs. So even though he's at the percent disadvantage right now, um, oh, they almost hit. Uh, Maple does have the ability to tack on the damage like he did towards the end of last match, even though this is an FD. That's it. Went for too hard of a punish. And another thing that happened there is Maple kind of waited until Zelda was done with her forward smash before he decided to actually let go of his own forward smash, which gave her time to put up a shield. What you want to do is you want to let go of your forward smash while she's in the middle of doing her forward smash, because that way you actually get to punish. So that game was pretty doable. We're actually one and one. Is top eight best of three or best of five? Let's take a look. We're actually gonna. Oh, wait, this isn't even top eight yet. This is still best of three for sure. Is Bad Kitty even streaming? I don't see him on my um, subscription list. Oh, there he is. Why is he so far down? What is going on, YouTube? Let's quiet that down. When are sets best of five? And you it. Alright, game three. Two, one, go. Maple versus Coca. So normally um, Young Link would not be able to counterpick to this stage because he already won on this stage, but because there are only two options of stages you know, Final Destination and Battlefield Living Room version. I guess they just gentlemen it to it. Okay, so all of Top 8 is best of 5. That's crazy. We're gonna be here for a while, folks. Settle in. Oh, this is bad. It wasn't that bad. The uh, I thought the dark nut was actually going to reach, but it didn't. Dash attack not killing at 180. Didn't know that he didn't have a dump, so he died for it. Maple's done playing games, going all out, all the damage. That was the perfect opportunity to go out there. Coca, like, uh, Young Link didn't have a jump, had already used his tether. He was basically half dead already. Let's go down there and use a Nairi's Love, 
Go down there and use the down air. That's interesting. Forward air one into uh, fastball, so it drags them down, and they hit them with up smash. Probably only works at really high percents. Yeah, Maple is really turning on the jets right now. Let's see if uh, Coca is going to be able to uh, stem this. Nice pit of grab. One more hit's gonna kill. Oh. Alright, so now he's going for the style. So that's this is when um, you make the comeback. So he definitely could have killed already. That's it. He hit him with something stylish. You gotta always avoid the style. That's a strong finish by Maple.